Okay, senior marketing students, we are chapter one, about to take our quiz tomorrow, so I wanted to get this slide deck going for you guys so that you have a tool for when you're going through your quiz, and you could use this and the vocabulary thing that we did on Google Classroom. Uh, so let's go through the slide deck so that we can help you out with that part. I gotta get the screen looking okay first, so let's swap these out. There we go. So I'm getting me out of the way. Do I wanna be at the top or the bottom? Let's go here. All right, so what we're gonna go through is what is marketing? That's 1.1 in the textbook. 1.2 is business needs in marketing. 1.3 is the marketing concept. And then 1.4 is the changing role of marketing. Okay, so the things that we're going to talk about here for 1.1, we're going to explain the importance of studying marketing. Um, and then we're going to describe the nine marketing functions. And we're going to define marketing. So those last two are definitely going to be on the quiz. Okay, so where does marketing take place and how do businesses use marketing? So here are the t different types of businesses that use marketing. So in the left column, you can see that businesses that are devoted specifically to those activities are advertising agencies, marketing research firms, freight companies, finance and credit. So there's a lot of marketing going on with those people. The second column is businesses with major marketing activities. So not devoted to, but major. So that's retailers. That's your targets in Walmarts and people like that, manufacturers, banks, real estate, and so on. And then you've got in the third column, businesses with limited marketing activities. So they do some, but not a lot. So law offices and medical centers and accounting firms and government agencies, universities including and so forth. So a little bit, but not as much as the other two columns. So what are marketing job opportunities? Um, I don't think that Okay, so as far as marketing opportunities, we're going to go back to the website we've been using for like our career search and so forth. So the ONET, and we can just put in marketing to see what pops up as far as different jobs are concerned. So marketing managers, advertising promotion, and business teacher, that's me. Um, sales representatives, public relations, there's sales managers. There's all sorts of things in this genre of marketing. Um, you can see that this is just one of 20 out of 124 so we can keep going and looking at all of these different things that have marketing functions in them uh, so you can see it, it covers a lot of area um, from computer hardware engineers to fashion designers to web administrators so the uh, marketing job opportunities are you know in a word a lot so um, just based on that one search in that one website. So moving on, let's swap these again. And so who benefits from effective marketing? So this is going to be something that you can find in your chapter 1.1 section. Um, and so you're going to answer this when this uh, video pauses. So we'll move on to section 1.2, or no, here we go. We're going to go to the marketing functions, which is 1.2. So um, the nine marketing functions, market planning, product and service management, distribution, pricing, promotion, selling, marketing, information management, financing, and risk management. So this is 1.1.2 in the book again. So how companies use the marketing functions. So examples uh, are product and service management with Apple. Um, you've got distribution, so Redbox and Netflix, how they distribute their product either by that big red box that's at your CVS or Netflix is almost solely online now. Marketing information management, electronic scanners at a supermarket checkout. So when, you, when they scan stuff, they're actually taking data from you know how many apples they sell, how many steaks they sell that day. So that's just marketing information that they help to use with their inventory. Pricing, uh, so incentives for pricing. Incentives could be coupons or something like that. Promotion, high quality brochures are an example of a promotion. Um, and then financing, so automobile manufacturers actually offer their own financing. Case in point, last night, just bought my stepson a car and they actually financed it through Toyota, which was interesting that that was the best option for us. All right, 
Marketing Core Standards for Employment. Okay, so in terms of marketing core standards for employment, you're going to find the information for this actually in page 8 of your textbook, page 8 of this wonderful textbook right here. And so I'll have you refer to that on your own uh, for this slide. And then uh, we're going to move on to uh, the rest here. So that is, again is for 1.1.2. And moving on. We have another checkpoint, so you will be in this video needing to answer this question. So which of the marketing functions occurs when a product is developed and sold? So of those nine that we mentioned, which one of those is when the product is developed and sold? Okay, marketing defined is 1.1.3. You can find it on page nine of your textbook. So here it is, the definition, the creation and maintenance of satisfying exchange relationships. So creation, maintenance, satisfaction, exchange relationships. Those are the main tenets of the definition of marketing. All right, so you can see in this graphic right here, so we have business organization in one column, customer in another, and exchange in another. So for example, movie theater um, is the business, customer is the movie goer, the exchange is a convenient and enjoyable access to entertainment. Let's go down to the second to last one. Commercial airline is the business. Customer is a business traveler or individual or family. And the exchange between those two is a safe, on time, and comfortable transportation between cities. Another checkpoint. What kinds of relationships exist when marketing is successful? So that's something that you can find. Answer on your own based on this lecture and or what is in the textbook. Okay, moving on to 1.2 of the text. We are going to explain why businesses need marketing. We're going to explain how marketing developed as a part of business, and then we're going to describe the functions of business. So, marketing must be carefully planned, and this is under the heading of the need for marketing, and then also marketing must be coordinated with other business activities, so it's not a standalone part of the business. Why does a business need marketing if it has a good product or service? So going back to these, 1.2.1 in your textbook, I'm just going to look here, make sure. So you're going to find more information on this on page 11 and 12 of your textbook so that you can answer this question effectively in the video. So why does a business need marketing if it has a good product or service? Okay, moving on. The development of marketing in business, so self-sufficient. Do not rely on others for the things you need to survive. Bartering. Exchanging products or services with others by agreeing on their values without using money. So these are all definitions that we went through in that Google uh, form uh, before. So if you haven't done that before, this might be a good way to get that one done as well. Specialization, specialization of labor. So this, this is kind of a timeline of marketing and business. So Specialization of labor is concentrating effort on one thing or a few related activities so that they can be done well. Um, a money system is the use of currency as a recognized medium of exchange. And a central market is a location where people bring products to be conveniently exchanged. Okay, and then you have other marketing activities and they talk a little bit more about that um, on page 14 of your textbook. Okay, so another checkpoint that you'll answer a question for on this video, how did the development of central markets aid in the growth of business? And you're gonna find a lot of that information in your text on pages 12, 13, and 14. Okay, moving on, the functions of business. Production, so here's another definition. Business function that creates or obtains products or services for sale. So that can include raw materials, processing, agriculture, manufacturing, and services. And then you've got another definition here of merchandising, offering products produced or manufactured by others for sale to customers. Okay. Operations is another function of business. Ongoing activities designed to support the primary function of a business and keep it operating efficiently. Okay, another function of business and definition is accounting and finance. So that is a business function that plans and manages financial resources and maintains records and information related to a business's finances. And definition of management, which is a function of business, 
function that involves developing, implementing, and evaluating the plans and activities of a business. Uh, more functions of a business. Operations. Ongoing activities. Wait. Hold on just a second. I think we already did those. Okay. The functions of a business. So marketing. And then you've got coordination of those business functions. Um, and that includes a business plan and marketing plan in your textbook. They're going to talk about that, I believe, on pages 15 and 16. Okay, so checkpoint about this. How can the lack of coordination among the business functions affect a company? So if all of those functions we just talked about didn't talk to each other, how could that affect the company in a good or bad way? Probably bad. All right, moving on. 1.3 of our text, the marketing concept. So the things we'll talk about are defining the marketing concept. And then in 1.3.2, we're gonna explain how businesses implement the marketing concept. Okay, so defining the marketing concept. There are three things that are part of the elements of the marketing concept. One is identifying the needs of the customer. The second is developing and marketing products or services. And the third is operating a business profitably. Okay, so all three of those are needed for the marketing concept. Okay, so satisfying customer needs, definition, marketing concept. Using the needs of customers as the primary focus during the planning, production, pricing, distribution, and promotion of a product or service. So before any of those things are done, they take the needs of the customer into mind first. Okay? Um, when customer needs are not satisfied, um, then there's a breakdown in the marketing concept um, situation. So if we're in 1.3, they're talking about this on pages 18 and 19. And going into page 20 as well with the concept of when customer needs are not satisfied. Okay, so here's a checkpoint. Um, okay, next checkpoint. What should a business have as its primary focus during planning, production, pricing, distribution, and promotion of a product? That sounds like a definition that we just went over. This should be a pretty easy one. Okay, moving on. Okay, so implement, implementing the marketing concept. So you identify the market. Here's a definition. Market, a description of a unique group of prospective customers a business wants to serve and their location. Um, and then implementing the marketing concept involves developing a marketing mix. So definition of marketing mix, the blending of four marketing elements, product, distribution, price, and promotion by the business. Okay, then the four P's of marketing are within uh, what we just talked about over here with the marketing mix. So the four P's of marketing, product, so definition of product, anything offered to a market by the business to satisfy needs, including physical products, services, and ideas. Promotion, definition, methods used and in information communicated to encourage customers to purchase and to increase their satisfaction. Place, which they're using the P for place, but that means distribution, how you distribute. Um, it's the location and methods used to make the product available to customers. And then lastly, the price, the amount customers pay and the methods of increasing the value of the product to the customers. So those are the four P's of marketing and the definitions of those four P's. Okay, checkpoint. What four marketing elements make up the marketing mix? Just went over it. This should be a piece of cake. Okay, moving on. Last section, 1.4, the changing role of marketing. 1.4.1, compare and contrast the four different emphasis companies have placed on marketing over the years. And then we're gonna summarize how marketing is changing in businesses and other organizations. Okay, so the changing approach to marketing, um, you have the production era, the sales era, the marketing department era, and then marketing concept era. So Civil War to 1920s was production. Emphasis was on producing and distributing new products then we got to the 30s and 40s where the emphasis was on using advertising and salespeople to convince customers to buy a company's product. Um, in the marketing department era, the 50s and 60s, the emphasis was on developing many new marketing activities to sell products, so just lots of different techniques. And then today in the marketing concept era, which started somewhere in the 70s, the emphasis on satis is on satisfying customers' needs with a carefully developed marketing mix, so it's much more specialized these days. 
Okay, so the changing approach to marketing still, we're talking about production emphasis, sales emphasis, marketing department emphasis, and marketing concept emphasis. So if we are talking about where we're at in our textbook, I'm at page 25, and I'm looking at page 26 and 27 for the sales emphasis, marketing department emphasis, and the marketing concept emphasis is talked about on page 27. Okay, so improving the marketing concept. The definition of relationship marketing focuses on developing loyal customers who continue to purchase from the business for a long period of time. And then you've got the employee empowerment definition of that is an approach to customer service that gives employees the authority to solve many customer problems without having to go to their boss every time. All right, so checkpoint, name the four major emphases in the development of marketing's role in business since 1900. So that was that timeline we talked about. Moving on, the changing view of marketing, marketing in other organizations, and then marketers' roles today. A lot of that is talked about in page 29 and page 30 of the textbook. Okay, last checkpoint, I believe. What types of organizations other than businesses use marketing? And you're going to find that in the text in the last part of the textbook there. Okay, so that is uh, the lecture. I'm going to put that into a format where you can answer those questions. And I will see you back in class for the review of Chapter 1. And then be ready for the quiz this Friday. Cheney out.